today. But we are doing neighborhood community shout outs. It is late. That's right. Sorry. That's right. But let's get started. Okay. Belinda Alberry. Welcome to the neighborhood. And she was having reconstruction foot surgery. Let us know how that went, Belinda. Mr. Fun Guy, 65. Welcome to the neighborhood. Samantha Ferk. I'm sorry, Samantha. You seemed upset that we never said welcome to the neighborhood to you before. You have to comment on one of our videos in order to say, Welcome to the neighborhood. When she did that, you got a welcome. Right, Island Delight. Welcome to the neighborhood. Element for Life. Welcome to the neighborhood. <coughs> Jacob <coughs> Mehoff. Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay. Sheila Smith, welcome to the neighborhood. Wilma Purple, welcome to the neighborhood. And she has a channel. Go by and check it out. T. Lomax, welcome to the neighborhood. Some of these people came over and are following along with me on my journey. So thank you so very much. I'm doing pretty good on my journey so far. Okay, we want to say happy birthday to Brandon Windsor. I believe he said his birthday is on the 13th of October. Let me know if I'm right. But he celebrates the entire month of October. Totally. Which we do too, and it's not even our birthdays, but <laughs> it's our anniversary month, and it's Halloween, so... I think the whole month should be celebrated anyway. So happy birthday, Brandon. And of course, I haven't said this in a while, so I need to say hello to my friend Bethany. Miss you. And go check out their channel, Sylvia Phillips. And I need to say a big thank you to Super Am Awesome. They left me such a very nice compliment and kind words and thank you and you guys have to understand we do what we do and I do what I do because of you guys you guys are my rock and if it weren't for all of you I wouldn't be here doing this so thank you and okay we need some thoughts and prayers guys Hannah Hinkle had some shoulder surgery on October 1st, so thoughts and prayers out to you for a speedy recovery. And if the neighborhood could also keep some thoughts and prayers out for her. Big D Jr. could use some thoughts and prayers. He's been kind of down in the dumps lately, and uh, he needs some thoughts and prayers to bring him back up. So, there you go, Big D. You're always in our thoughts and prayers, and we love you, man. Um, Tom Show. He's been having some issues. He's got some kidney problems that run in the family, and he's been having some testing and some issues. So thoughts and prayers go out to him for positive test results and good news. So keeping you in our thoughts and prayers as well, Tom. Terry Johnson's uncle, if you all remember, had a heart attack. He made it to the hospital in time. But he did have to have surgery, quadruple bypass. They had to wait until they could get some of the fluid off of his lungs before they were able to do the surgery. The surgery started two hours later. They had to keep um, him hooked up to a machine for his heart beating for five hours. When they would take him off of the machine, his heart would stop. He was bleeding, and they were having a hard time finding the source of the bleeding. He got off the machine, and the doctors did not find, did not like the way his heart was beating. 
they found the source of the, the bleeding, so they got that under control. They got the heart beating okay, so they got him off the machine. He is in ICU in critical condition, but stable. But he can definitely use thoughts and prayers. Terry, him, the entire family, everybody, please keep him <clears throat> in your thoughts and prayers. And uh, we will definitely do so. Um, Elijah from Mom's Vlog 80, Melody Mainville, they can also use some pr thoughts and prayers. Elijah is neutropenic again, which means his white blood cells and his red blood cells have crashed, and they had to take him to a different hospital because when that happens, he cannot be around um, anybody, any other sick children, and the children's hospital that he was at had too many sick children in it, and there was not enough open beds, um, and he can't share a room. So they had to take him to a different hospital. So thoughts and prayers go out to Elijah, Drax, Shadow, and Melody Mainville, and their entire family as well. So there we have that. Last week's question was, what is your favorite, or what was your favorite Halloween costume? And what was your favorite Halloween movie? Or scary movie? Okay, so we got lots of answers on this. Um, I'm just going to read a few. Lucy Owl didn't tell us her costume, but her favorite movies are Hocus Pocus, love it, the Halloween Town series, love that series as well, Casper, love it, it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, we just watched it the other day, and Girl vs. Monster, I've never seen that one. We'll have to watch that one. Never seen that one. Big D Jr. He liked the old costumes, the cheap ones. Uh, he was a Star Trek character once. And one time he was a 1955 Studebaker. I don't know how he could have been a 1955 Studebaker, but he's a big man, so I think he could have pulled it off. Okay. And... <laughs> It's not a Halloween movie, but I think it would pass as a good movie for <laughs> Halloween. Goonies. I think Goonies is one of the best movies out there. I love the movie Goonies. Mm. Yeah. So, good movie choice. Terry Johnson. Two of her best costumes was when she was a baby and her mother made a diaper out of a bed sheet. Pretty good. And she was a gypsy once. I always like being a gypsy. They're easy costumes to put together. And her favorite movie? Want to give it a guess? Hello, Halloween? Nope. The 1963... Haunting. Yes! Yep. Okay. Same as ours! Awesome! <laughs> Dougie Style. His favorite costume was Lurch from the Adams Family. Now, I have no idea how tall you are or anything, Doug, but Lurch is a pretty tall dude, and he's pretty cool. I like Lurch. And his favorite show was The Addams Family, and Lurch was his favorite character. Plays a mean harpsichord. Yep. Jack Salmon, he was the big bad wolf, and his wife was Little Red Riding Hood. And a funny Halloween-type movie was Spaced Invaders. Yeah, I remember watching it at one point, but he said that I shouldn't watch it again right now um, until I'm all healed up so I don't bust any stitches or anything oh. like that, because it's pretty funny. What? And Really? <laughs> and we got okay. our black cat with us today. He's complaining about something up here. <laughs> and Margaret Clevenger, she went dressed as a Christmas box, decorated all up for Christmas, and the tag read, oh. Trick or Treat. I think that's pretty cool. And two of her favorite movies, Nightmare Before Christmas. We had a few people say that. Vincent Gutierrez <clears throat> was one. And a few other people also said this one. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. And that's one of my favorites. I love that movie. Yeah. So what is your favorite Halloween costume? Uh, my favorite Halloween costume, uh, 
I would say was my our vampire costumes. Yeah, I think that's our our best costumes, <clears throat> and it was all three of us: me, Kevin, and Megan, all dressed up, and we used poly grip to put our fangs on, and they stayed on all night long. It was really cool. And, Couldn't talk uh, very well, but <laughs> maybe if we can get our computer to work properly, and if we can find a picture, we can insert a picture of that for you guys so you can see it. And what is uh, one of your favorite Halloween movies? Uh, well, you know, our uh, favorite scary movie, of course, is uh, the haunting. The haunting uh, movies that we have to watch during Halloween is Halloween. Right. Halloween 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, and 8. 7, 8, and 7, 8, not 6. Yeah. There's so many movies. Like, I, I love to sit and watch Hocus Pocus with Megan, the Halloween Town series, Casper. You know, there, there's a lot of good movies I like to watch during Halloween time. So, but, okay. This week's question has to do with one of our previous videos. Okay, guys? So, I'm going to put the link down below in the description. What is, it's a three-part question, what is one of our, one of, out of ours, what is one of your favorite Halloween decorations of ours? What is one of your scariest Halloween decoration of ours? And what do you think is one of the goriest Halloween decoration of ours. And I will put the link to last year's Halloween party so you can watch that and make your choices. Did we have gory last year? We had nothing. Our in... morgue table was completely oh, yeah. gory. <laughs> okay. So there you have it. There's the question for this week. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so last week, my question was about the 1963 movie, The Haunting, and it was an odd question, and it was something that I, uh, I had a question about for years until I finally found it, and that was, what was the car that uh, Eleanor drove to the house from her, uh, through Massachusetts, it's supposed to have been uh, on the coast of Massachusetts, and it was a 1960 Hillman Husky Series 2, the British car, very British. In fact, I think it would have been hard to find here in the States. Now, it, it was, um, the, the question, had the question because I didn't recognize the car, and we know that the movie was actually filmed in England. And believe me, he tried to find this car for years. And, um, so they, I assume that they looked for something that looked very similar to a Chevy Suburban from the 1960s, which it kind of looks like. So those who got that correct was Terry Johnson, The Abyss 92882, and Tanya Longley. Woohoo! Okay, so tonight's question has to do with a, a Halloween movie, uh, which is a comedy uh, from 1991 called Ernest Scared Stupid. And if you haven't seen that, it's a pretty funny movie. It's uh, probably one of uh, Jim Varney's best movies, if you consider Jim Varney having a best movie. But um, the question is, and this is an interesting one, what does the internet meme called Trollface have to do with the movie? There you go. There you have it. There's your trivia question of the week. And we will be back. Wednesday on schedule with shout outs. We just fell a little bit behind this week. As you all know, things happened. Anyway, you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you on Wednesday.